we have the God of the four sons, Chochem, Rosh Tam, and Shein Dei Elishlam. I'm going to focus on talking about the Tam, because most people don't talk about the Tam. What's it to talk about a Tam? Now, first we have to understand, what does the Tam mean? Well, in the pictures in the Haggadah, it seems that he's a naive boy. A Tam, a naive... Well, I don't know, in the Torah, it says, Yaakov ish Tam. Yaakov was a Tam. Was he naive? I don't think so. He was a simple, honest, innocent person. Now there's another Pasik which talks about the word Tam. Tomem tiye mashavalekecha. Which means, like Rashi explains, that he should always live with Hashem for now. And not look what's going to happen later in the future. We have to live now. A simple life. People look at the Chochem. Whoa, he's a Chochem. People look at the Rasha. He's a bad guy. And people look at the She'ena de Elisha. A little baby doesn't even know what to ask. But the Tam no one looks at. The simple person on the street, which goes every morning to Shachos, Menachem He does what he's supposed to. He works for a living. He helps at home. He, he, he bonds with his kids. The regular simple person no one looks at. And we have to start looking and finding the Tam in ourselves. Like it says in the Tam, Mahu Eimer. What does this simple, honest person say? Mazois, what is this? Not what's that. What's this right here? What do I have to do right now what Hashem wants? I got to do right now what Hashem wants me to do right now. And not what Hashem wants me to do later. Today is not Shabbos. So today, I got to do what's today. And Shabbos, I do what I got to do on Shabbos. I can't look what's going to happen later. But to be simple, honest, and when we live this way, we live an honest life and searching for the truth for now, without running and rushing and jumping stairs, then we'll be able to live every day with a smile.